So what you are seeing here is an offshore wind turbine experiencing negative damping. So you can see that the wind turbine is moving a lot um, backwards and forwards here. So it's oscillating a lot around the vertical axis. And that's what you can see here. This, uh, this here is showing you the angle between the vertical axis and, the, and the, um, the structure. So you can see that we're moving a lot into the wind here and then a lot back out of the wind. This is called negative damping and it's uh, something that you have to consider when you write the control system of your wind turbine. And today we're going to look into one of the aspects of um, or that causes that and how to solve it. This builds up on the previous video on the aerodynamic damping that we made, so I strongly suggest that you that you have a look. You can click on the link on the top right corner now. So if I slow down the video, the, the simulation now, we're going to have a look at why, why this is happening. So when my wind turbine is going to move to the right now, so into the wind, it's going to experience a stronger wind because it has the incoming wind here plus the wind due to its own motion. From the previous video, you will remember that this increases the thrust and that opposes the motion, effectively dampening out the motion. But what's happening here is that because it's happening relatively slow, the, um, the pitch system kicks in and starts pitching the blades here. And when you pitch the blades, you're actually decreasing the thrust, which is what you see here on this graph. Okay, so the wind turbine is moving into the wind, but instead of this increasing the thrust, it's going to decrease the thrust. And because you've de you decrease the thrust, you're not opposing this uh, motion into the wind anymore. So you're favoring this motion. So so that's why there's more um, more motion into the wind because of the pitching system here. And similarly, when you go, if I speed this up a bit again. When you move back out of the wind, um, in the previous video, you, you'll have seen that this was, um, well, this would decrease the thrust and then kind of oppose the motion again. But here, because we're pitching the blades back to zero, what's actually happening is that we're increasing the thrust because the, the blades are not pitched anymore. And this increasing thrust is pushing the wind turbine backwards even more. Okay, so it's this, it's this pitch in action that's actually creating this, uh, or one of the things that's creating this this aerodynamic damping, um, this negative damping here, and that is happening because, well, basically because the the pitch is the blades are pitching too fast, kind of. They're they're pitching fast enough that they can influence the the thrust fast enough to to create negative damping. So one way that you can solve this is by, well, effectively slowing down the 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 pitch system. So Right now, this is being controlled by a Python API. So I can come here and yeah, set a breakpoint. And I'm gonna change the gains of my of my uh, of my proportional and integral, or yeah, the, the, the proportional and integral gains I'm gonna change. So I'm lowering them a lot. And effectively, what I'm doing here is slowing down the the pitch system. Um, if we get a bit technical, the azimuth angle for an idealized PI controller behaves like a second order system. So it has an eigenfrequency and, and, and a damping. So what I'm doing right now is, is decreasing this eigenfrequency. And you can see here that you know, what, what I'm doing is yeah, slowing, down the, slowing down the pitch in action. So now my, my blades are taking a little bit longer to pitch. And it kind of means that there's no, you know, there's no time for this uh, for for this loop of increasing the thrust when we're moving back and decreasing it when we're moving into the wind to happen. So, you know, this this kind of yeah, this this loop doesn't happen anymore. So, so now effectively we're we're stopping this uh, negative damping, and you can see that now the motion is is greatly greatly reduced and is just going to converge towards the a static value and you know same with the pitch and thrust and power here um, so this is one aspect of negative damping of on uh, floating wind turbines we'll look into others in in future videos but uh, yeah this i hope this was not too hard i hope you managed to follow uh, if you didn't please let us know in the comment or or you know somehow tell us and, and we can look into it more in details
Cool. Thanks a lot and uh, see you around. <laughs>